Hi all. Let's talk about row sampling transformation in SSIS. So row sampling transformation is the one which helps us to get the randomly selected records. I mean, which will help us to get subset of records from the original data set. So here you can special you can specifically mention the size of the records or you can uh, you can mention here number of records you want from the original data set. So let me take you to the example. So there is a company is uh, which is planning to announce 50 winners in the lottery. So that time you can use a row sampling. OK, there it will exactly populate the 50 random employees out of the employee database. So that is the exact scenario where you can use a row sampling. So I mean, again, I am repeating row sampling transformation is the one which will help us to get the subset of records from the original data set. So here you can specify the how many number of records you want. And one point here is so for, for the first time, if you get some uh, 50 records, when you run second sum, you may not get the same 50 records. So if you want to get the same 50 records every time you run, so there is a property to set up. The property name is seed. If you set up the seed property, then you will get same 50 records every time you run the package. Now I will show you practically how to use row sampling transformation in SSIS package. Let me go to SQL Server data tools. So here I have a YLEDB data source which is having around like a more than 1000 records. So this is the sample data which are of having. So some around five to six columns and more than 1000 rows. Me click on OK. Now let me drag and drop the row sampling transformation. So let me double click on the row sampling transformation to configure it. So here this is a place where you need to specify the number of records, number of rows. So when I say number of rows, that is nothing but a selected records. So those selected records will go to the sampling selected output and the unselected rows. Let us assume it. I have a thousand rows. 20 records goes into the sampling selected output. The other 980 records goes to the sampling unselected output. So let me click on OK means by looking at this is I will be getting two outputs. One is the sampling selected output. The other one is a sampling unselected output. So let me capture both the outputs. OK, at the end, if I club both the outputs, then obviously, yes, I will be getting the source data only now. So rather than configuring a destination, let me take a some dummy transformation and I'll make use of the data yours here. So here, whenever I try to configure a first output, it will ask you what is the output do you want to pass first? So for time being, I will be passing sampling selected output for the first configuration. Second configuration, I will be configuring the other output. So here it won't ask because I have only one output. So it automatically maps. So here you can directly see sampling selected output. The other one is sampling unselected output. Now here I have I, I have taken the dummy transformations here. So to enable a data of yours in between these two controls. Okay, let me enable a data of your. So how to enable a data of your select the arrow and right click on it. Click on enable data of your even you can enable here as well. Right click and enable data of your now. So rather than going till the destination, I can observe the output during the execution only. So now let me go here. Let me run this. So once I run this, so I will be getting two pop ups with one is a selected output. The other one is not selected output here. You can read it out sampling selected output sampling unselected output here. If you see, so these are the 20 records randomized 20 records. The other records are this. So which are having 9681 records which are of unselected output. OK, so when you run second time, you may not get the same records because I did not specify the seed property for row sampling transformation. Let me pro let me set up the seed property for this row sampling transformation. Then I will get the same output every time I run. So let me go to the row sampling again. Let me select the seed. Yeah, I can make it as two or three or whatever the seed I want. Let me click on OK. Now let me run this. So once I run this again, I will be getting two pop ups, one with a selected output. The other one is not selected output. Yeah, now 
so if you if you remember uh, that earlier selected output and now the selected output is not the same because earlier is without seed now this with seed if i run again second time i will be getting the same this 20 records so this is how row sampling transformation works so this really helpful so when you want to test randomized records in the real time so rather than testing each and every record we will take the randomized records and we will process in the next levels that's it thank you for watching